One of the main ways to improve your damage is to increase enhancement level of your equipment. Enhancement level refers to the number shown at the beginning of the first line when you hover over a piece of equipment. Enhancement level ranges from plus 0 to plus 13. By increasing the enhancement level, the base stats of your equipment will increase by a certain percentage. There are a few ways to increase enhancement level of your equipment. The first one is either through normal or advanced enhancing. Go to the blacksmith in any village and select the enhance option. Then, select the equipment you wish to increase enhancement level of. You can enhance equipment both in your inventory and currently equipped equipment. In order to enhance, you will need blessed enhancement stones and ED. Depending on the current enhancement level of your equipment, it will require a different amount of blessed enhancement stones. Depending on the type of equipment, it will require different amounts of ED. When you enhance, you have a chance of the equipment either going up in enhancement level, no change, going down in enhancement level, the equipment breaking, which means you are unable to use it, the enhancement level doesn't change, and it cannot be fixed by using the repair option at a blacksmith, or the enhancement level resets is plus zero. The higher the enhancement level, the more likely the equipment is to decrease, break, or reset. However, up until plus 8, the equipment will not break. It has a chance of going down or resetting, but it cannot break. So enhancing your equipment to plus 8 is considered safe. There are three items you should be aware of regarding enhancing. The first is the Blessed Restoration Scroll. To obtain it, you can either buy it from the item mall for 330 keqing, buy it from the board, or buy it from a keqing seller. It restores your broken piece of equipment. The second item you should be aware of is the Elves Hammer. You can obtain L's hammers from hitting the Mysterious L Anvil, which is blacksmith profession only. Completing the monthly quest, the blacksmith lost his L's hammer. This quest is per character, or by completing certain achievement quests. The L's hammer doubles the chance of your equipment going up an enhancement level. One thing you should be aware of is that once you obtain an L's hammer, it will expire after 7 days. I suggest not clearing achievement or monthly quests until you need the hammer. The hammers are bank shareable. The third item you should be aware of is the Blessed Fluorite Ore. You can obtain these by buying them from the item mall for 55 caging each, buying them from the board, or buying them from a caging seller. What they do is they prevent an equipment from dropping down an enhancement level or resetting. They can only be used up until plus 11. The fourth item you should be aware of is the Blessed Fluorite Crystal. You can obtain these by buying them from the item mall for 165 caging each, buying them from the board, or buying them from a caging seller. They can only be used for equipment plus 11 or higher. They prevent an equipment from resetting. However, unlike fluorite ores, they do not prevent an item from potentially dropping down an enhancement level. The amount of items you need is affected by enhancement level. So in conclusion, when enhancing, you want to use a fluorite ore to prevent resetting and or going down and have a restoration score prepared in case of the equipment breaks. Hammers are nice to have, but they are hard to obtain and not necessary. One way to make enhancing easier is to have a character with a blacksmith profession. The blacksmith profession has an advanced enhancement option. When using advanced enhancement, in addition to ED and blessed enhancement stones, you will need blacksmith materials. The materials you need will depend on the current enhancement level of your equipment. These materials are largely obtained from doing dungeons on a character with a treasure hunter profession or brought from the board. In addition, you will have a higher chance of a successful enhancement and you have a chance of going up not one, but up to three enhancement levels. For example, if you have a plus 8 and advanced enhance, you have a chance of getting a plus 11. This only works up until plus 11. In other words, if you have a plus 10 piece of equipment, the highest it can go is plus 11 with advanced enhancement. The second way to increase enhancement level of your equipment is using magic amulets. If you use a magic amulet on an equipment, it will automatically take that equipment to the enhancement level of the amulet. For example, if you have a plus 11 magic amulet and use it on a weapon, that weapon will be plus 11. There are a few ways to obtain magic amulets. The first is, when you advance this mantle and equipment plus 5 or higher, you have a low chance of getting an amulet. Advanced dismantling is only available through the blacksmith profession. The amulet's level will either be equal to that of the equipment or lower, the lowest being plus 5. The amulet has a low chance of being the same as the equipment. For example, if you advance this mantle plus 8 piece of equipment, you have a low chance of getting a plus 5, plus 6, plus 7, or plus 8 magic amulet. Advanced dismantling costs blacksmith material depending on the enhancement level of the equipment you are dismantling. 
The second way to get magic amulets is through the Estian Heroic Story Quests. The amulets from these story quests can only be used on Estian Heroic gear. The third way, and most common way to obtain amulets, is to buy them from other players. Generally, plus 7 amulets are 10 mil, plus 8 amulets are 100 mil, plus 9 amulets are 700 mil, plus 10 amulets are 4 bill, plus 11 amulets are around 10 bill, and plus 12 amulets are worth around 3 to 4 plus 11 amulets. Prices may vary. The third way to increase enhancement level of your equipment is buying equipment with the desired enhancement level. This practice is most common with Elrenoid armor. Elrin armor can be sealed once. There are players who sell plus 9 and plus 10 Elrenoid armor that you can purchase. The prices for these tend to be 2 or 3 times cheaper than buying the actual amulet. If you have any intention of having an Elder Knight set that is higher than plus 8, it is highly suggested you buy plus 9 and or plus 10 armor before you begin building your Elder Knight gear. Very rarely, there will be other pre-made equipment such as 4D or SD weapons that are being sold with high enhancement levels, but it is not as common. Oftentimes, these weapons or armor are sold by players who no longer need their gear. What are they? Enhancement events roughly occur once every six months. They are a major, huge deal and are normally the main source of the Elseworld community's amulets and where most people get high enhancement levels on their gear. In fact, trying to enhance higher than plus A outside an event is almost suicidal. So why are these events so good? During these events, they normally give out five special equipment pieces. If you get these equipment pieces to plus A or higher, by right clicking and using one blessed fluoride ore and one blessed restoration scroll, you can extract an amulet at a 100% rate of success equal to that special equipment's enhancement level. For example, if you enhance the special equipment to plus 11, you would extract a plus 11 amulet out of it. Normally the chances of getting an amulet from special dismantling is low and the chances of getting an amulet of equivalent enhancement level of the equipment is even lower. Also, during the event, they normally give out for free at least 20 blessed restoration scrolls, 14 Ellis hammers, and 14 blessed fluoride ores. In addition, there are packages in the item mall that sell scrolls, hammers, and ores for a severely discounted price. Finally, no matter which enhancement level you're trying to get to, it will only cost one blessed enhancement stone, no ED, one fluoride ore, one hammer, and one blessed restoration scroll to fix, if broken. Do you need to load money in the game to take advantage of these events? No. You can obtain amulets if you get to plus 8, and it is safe to enhance a plus 8. If anything, you can get quite a few plus 8 amulets out of the vent, either for your own use or to sell. Also, like mentioned earlier, they do give out free blessed restoration scrolls, hammers, and ores, so it is not uncommon for a player to get plus 9, plus 10, or even plus 11 without having spent a single penny. Do not use the free items to get to plus 8. Remember, plus 8 is safe to go to. Use the items when going for plus 9 or higher. In addition, if you have a lot of ED, you can buy scrolls and ores from other players. How should you prepare for these events? Save up a lot of Bless Enhancement Stones. Normally, people discard these stones as they are practically worthless, but during events, their demand skyrockets and you yourself will be needing a lot, so it's important to stock up for your own use or stock to sell during the event. Save up on blacksmith materials. Same idea as Bless Enhancement Stones, either stock to use yourself or stock to sell. If you are able and want to, save up money to load in the game in preparation for the event. There are also smaller, generally one or two day enhancement events that give you a few free restoration scrolls, fluoride ores, and L's hammers. During these events, there will be packages for sale in the IM. These events normally happen around holidays such as the 4th of July, Black Friday, etc. Other benefits of enhancing equipment. The higher the enhancement level, the higher chance you get of getting higher values for socketing. Improves your CP. For Elrenoid gear, at plus 9 you get one additional circle socket, at plus 10 you get two additional circle sockets. What enhancement level should you go for? Plus 11 is generally considered the highest sane enhancement level. Besides the low chance of getting from plus 11 to plus 12, when enhancing from plus 11 to plus 12, there is no protection against equipment going down to plus 10. Therefore, plus 12 amulets or plus 12 equipments are insanely rare and insanely expensive. There is currently no plus 13 equipment in NA. Besides Elder Knight gear, if you do not intend to use your armor for PvP, you do not need to invest in high enhancement levels for those armor pieces. Higher enhancement levels on armor pieces will make you more tanky and that is not something you greatly need for PvE. 
On the other hand, if you do plan to use your armor for PvP, it is suggested you try to go for higher enhancement levels.